last day at work. And it's sunny out. It's a good way to start the last day at work. And hopefully it's the next sunny days to next. The next two days are sunny as well. Good morning, guys. Now coffee is brewing and hopefully that'll give me the strength and energy to be active. And it'd be a great day to film the narrative, but my hair's not right and I gotta work. Believe it or not, that hair stuff, that matters to me. In this case anyway, it needs to be very specific because when I make something, I visualize it and then I make it. I'm very, 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 very visual person. So I'll work really, really diligently to get what I see in my head. So definitely it's, it's, it matters. So finally tomorrow I get a day off and I get actually two days off which is good because I am completely burnt out and exhausted and feeling slightly ill because I'm so burnt out and exhausted. It's almost time for a break. Almost. So basically it's really hard to find really good gun props that are not super super expensive like $100. Uh, and I just hit the jackpot. I was looking around on Deal Extreme and I'm pretty sure this is full scale but it's like a mini submachine gun or whatever it's like a submachine gun and all you would have to do is take out the plastic covering and it would look exactly like a submachine gun. and it's like 15 bucks so it's like i'm hitting the jackpot here one of these days we're gonna, just gonna have a full scale shootout for some reason on from here to their films i don't know why i haven't figured that out yet but it's really cool to have like as props just like if you want to intensify a scene like where somebody's going to approach somebody and there's like a couple of guns on the table or something like that i've hit the jackpot here i just have to wait for the really good ones to be back in stock because they've been sold out since like march so after I was inspired by looking at the guns that are available, I actually reread over the script that's not completely finished, but it's mostly finished for silence, which I can't actually wait to shoot. It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be epic as But it's gonna be hard getting some of the shots. So not right away because I can't spend any more money. I know this, but Glidecam HC2000, please. Please go watch test footage of it. It's incredible. I want it. I just I just want it. Okay That's all that's all like all of these things that I want that I have to spend money on. I can't actually wait to start actually doing things instead of just sitting in my bedroom talking to a camera so I, I've reread over the script for, for Silence, what we have so far, and I don't know how to coordinate the party scene. There's gonna be a party scene in it, it's gonna be partying. It's actually more gonna be like a fancy dress party. It's gonna be really good once I actually make it, because the stuff that's on From Here to Their Films, I've said this before, but the stuff that's on From Here to Their Films right now is kind of like crap that I've thrown together in 20 minutes. I've been working on the script and ideas for Silence since last September, like when I started the daily vlog, so almost a full year. And I've been working, like this script has been finished for the um, for the other short film they're making, which you won't get to see for a while, unfortunately. I'm putting in film festival. Isn't that exciting? That's exciting. And that's why I need the 5D Mark III because it's gonna be really low lighting for a lot of the shots. And the 60D doesn't perform as well as it could in low light. And I can't light it and make it look not lit. And that's, that's the problem. That's where one of the problems comes in. It's gonna be incredible once I actually get them done. And I'm, I'm excited to show the world what I can actually do. Maybe not the world because that's highly unrealistic, but at least I can show people on YouTube, like, like you guys, what like actually I can do. Cause this stuff on from here to their film. Yeah, it's cool. Some of it is nice, but it's, it's nothing compared to what I'm actually going to make. And I think the Alex Sears music video is the first place I'm going to start proving that because it's going to be really... <sighs> Say bye-bye, fishy. Bye. It's time to go to work. And then we're going to go to work and make money. And then we're going to have two days off, so it's going to be a lot better. Promise. Maybe. Or I'll just sleep the whole time. I can't tell yet. So I was about to leave and then I stepped outside because I needed to leave and then I realized I forgot my phone, but holy crap, it is hot out there. Since we got the indoor cooling system, like it, it is, it's incredible what kind of a difference it makes because like it is literally probably 28 degrees out. Not even kidding. Like, let's see. 31 outside and inside is perfectly 24. The difference is crazy. I didn't expect it to be 31 when I went outside. I expected it to be like 18 and then it was like 31 and I was like, what the fuck? That's crazy. So it's funny because in the winter, I'm always concerned about my camera like being really cold and like freezing and then now it's like overheating. Like this camera is super warm to touch and I've got this thing on to reflect the heat out, but like, but it's super warm in here, so bye.
You know what's really awesome about the summer weather is that it's 18 degrees out and it's one o'clock, 1.30 in the morning. And that's awesome because it's gonna be a warm night, which is good. And something other than that along those lines. I'm really tired, guys. I'm not gonna lie, but it's been a long day. It's been a good day, but it's been a long day. And that means I'm gonna go to bed because I'm tired, but I will see you tomorrow and I have the next two days off. So expect some adventures, maybe. I don't know, we're gonna see. I'll see you tomorrow anyway. Good night, I love you. Good night.